And have you ever wondered how you can volunteer and get more involved in your community? Well, our next guest here has all the answers for you. Welcome. Happy to be here. And Pam, I know it's not the first time that I am with you, that I've talked to you, but let's just remind everybody what the Volunteer Center serving Howard County is. Absolutely. The Volunteer Center serving Howard County is a community connector. We are a program of the Columbia Association and we work to connect those individuals, groups, families, businesses that would like to serve the nonprofit community in the role of volunteer. And you know, that's great to know that there is a place like the Volunteer Center serving Howard County because many times you want to help, right? But you're not sure what to do, who needs the help, or you, there's things that interest you, but you're just not sure, okay, I have this idea, I have this desire to help, but what do I do now, right? Yes, and I think we're a great community resource for that. We have a wonderful website, volunteerhoward.org, and at that particular website, you could take a look at day and time specific opportunities on the calendar. You can peruse some of the 300 plus organizations that we have listed who are posting opportunities or are in need of volunteer service. And volunteer opportunities range from stocking and inventorying food and groceries to becoming board members and fundraisers and marketing professionals. And lately, uh, there is a huge need for social media volunteers, mm. people that will help our nonprofits get the word out um, through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram. And we even have opportunities that look for photographers and grant writers, as well as individuals that will help to usher at community theater or to read a passage from the local newspaper to someone who is hard of, um, has difficult in seeing. That's wonderful. Th over 300 organizations. That is amazing. That's correct. And we have about 7,000 volunteers registered who we communicate with on a semi-monthly basis mm -hmm. to let them know what opportunities are available for them to choose from. Now, are there specific requirements in order to volunteer? It really depends upon the organization. As I mentioned before, we are a connector. Mm -hmm. So we refer people to organizations who are seeking and recruiting volunteers. Um, each organization has their own application, as well as liability requirements and introduction to their programs. And that only makes sense, because one volunteer does not fit all. Just as every nonprofit is very different, every volunteer has different skills, interests, and abilities to share. So it becomes very individualized. Mm -hmm. How about the organizations? Do they, how do they apply or how do they get involved? If somebody's watching right now and they're like, oh, we could really use some volunteers, but we are not in your um, database yet. Well, that's very easy, and thank you for asking. Um, at volunteerhoward.org slash be a partner, there is a little bit of information that we collect from organizations who wish to participate and it is then reviewed by our staff to make sure it's a bona fide uh, nonprofit organization that their employment identification number is correct and they are listed as a nonprofit. Um, there is no fee at this point to belong and we hold monthly orientations for any new partner staff so that they can learn how to use volunteerhoward.org to manage volunteers. And I know we mentioned the website. That's a very good place for people to go and find out the different opportunities available. But I also have this little special booklet right here, the Guide to Given, which only comes out once a year. Can you tell us more details about this? Absolutely. Um, the Annual Guide to Giving is published in the fourth quarter of the calendar year to highlight a number of our partner organizations who need additional help. Those opportunities then run the gamut from providing transportation for seniors and animals to collecting food and personal hygiene products for some of our members, community members in need. And I just wanted to mention that over the last calendar year, um, the Volunteer Center has been able to document and confirm over 3,600 hours of volunteer service. Wow. So the guide to giving is just the beginning. 
and it has opportunities that you can take a look at year round. Thank you, Pam, for bringing the guides to give in and many other opportunities uh, for all of us to get more involved in our community and help each other out.